In this video, we're going to look at the difference between the written form of the address and also how you say where you live in Japanese. And the first thing to note is that not every place follows the same pattern or the same method of describing where the location actually is. Take, for example, this top one here is from Tokyo, and the other ones are from different areas throughout Japan. But you'll notice that the suffixes, suffix character used is quite different in each case. And so that's what we'll try and clarify in this video. These are just brands or a school name. First thing to note is that Japan is actually broken up in different ways. The first way is that it could be broken up into a region, a larger area of land, or a prefecture, a small area of land. However, the region is never actually written in the address, whereas the prefecture is. The prefectures, uh, well, they've gone through a lot of different ways of naming, but basically the abolition of the Han system in 1871, when Japan was rapidly modernizing, meant that uh, the number of prefectures actually decreased from 261 down to around 72, down to what we have today. And that is that there are 43 general prefectures called ken. Okay, and it's a suffix. So this one here is called Gunma Ken. Gunma is located right in the middle here. Now, that is for the majority, as you can see with the numbers, of the places in Japan. There are two urban prefectures, and these are Osaka Fu and Kyoto. Uh, sorry, other way around. Kyoto Fu and Osaka Fu. Okay, and then there is one To, or Do, in this case Hokkaido, and also one metropolis. Tokyo to. Okay, so that's the first thing to note. There's suffixes and they describe the larger area of land. If we took Tokyo as an example, now this image is just taken from Wikipedia. Tokyo actually has 23 special wards within its big large metropolis. Okay, and these, la these wards are then given a further naming system, which is Ku. Okay, and Osaka also has those wards as well, Ku. All right, so Osaka's example is Osaka-fu, Osaka-shi, shi means city, and I'll get to that in a second. Ten-oji-ku, so that is the ward or area within the city. And Tokyo to Chiyoda-ku, okay, so that's the ward within Tokyo. And then the address is more specific after that. If we look at the majority of the country with the ken, the prefectures, this is Gunma, so Gunma Ken. Okay, and the next naming system here is Ota Shi. So Ota is located is the city area located within Gunma Prefecture. And then we get further down inside Ota to the area within Ota and Dainobo Cho. So the general pattern is the following. First start off with the prefecture, Ken, City, Shi, Town or Suburb, Cho or Machi. So this this uh, kanji here can be read as machi or cho, and then the number. Okay, so the general pattern is that from a, we start with the larger area of land, getting down to the more specific uh, area or place within that land. Okay, let's take for example, Kain's home headquarters, and that's located in Takasaki in Gunma Prefecture. Okay, in English we we go from small to large area of land. But in Japanese, it is the reverse. We start with the prefecture. We actually start with the yubin, or the postbox, or postcode. Okay, so it starts with the yubin, Gunma prefecture, Takasaki, Shi, Koseki, Cho, and then the number. Okay, so Gunma Ken, Takasaki, Shi, Koseki, Cho. Now, it's the same for Osaka, but as we heard just before, Osaka is, a, is an urban prefecture, so a slightly different naming system. So Sharp's global headquarters is located in this address written in English and in Japanese, following that same large to small pattern. The Yubin and Osaka Fu, Abeno Ku, Nagaike Cho, and then the number. And so now we we go to the more, uh, well, I should say, the less formal way of describing like, where you live. The written form is always a little bit more formal than the the spoken version. So first we need to know the verb for living, and to live is sumimas. Written in kanji, it looks like this. But when you think about it, when you're describing where you live, it's an action that's happening right now. You're living in this place. I live here. 
for example. So the grammar pattern has to change, and it's sunde imas, sunde imas. So if I want to say I live in Brisbane, it would be boku wa Brisbane ni sunde imas. If I want to change that to Sydney, it would be boku wa Sydney ni sunde imas. Tokyo, boku wa Tokyo to ni sunde imas. However, that's a little bit more formal, and in most cases, they drop the to, and you would hear, in, in most cases, boku wa Tokyo ni sunde imas. Okay, so this is the first difference, that you don't usually use those suffixes uh, in the spoken form. So let's have a look at the general pattern then, when you're talking about where you live. Boku wa Tokyo ni sunde imas. And obviously, you change this place to wherever you are. And if you're talking about someone else, you change this part of the sentence. Now, there are variations, of course. So, of course, when you're talking about uh, Gunma, okay, the address that we saw before, it would be Gunma Ken Takasaki Shi ni sunde imasu. All right, so that's just one variation. But in most cases, you would hear Gunma, gunma Ken Takasaki ni sunde imasu or Takasaki Shi ni sunde imasu. There are lots of ways that you can use it when you're uh, speaking. Okay, sorry, I, I skipped over this one, which was Tokyo to Shinjuku ku ni sundeimasu. Okay, or Shinjuku ni sundeimasu. Now, describing places overseas, uh, we have to use a different way to describe the area of land, and in Australia's case, it would be the state. And this kanji here actually means the state. So it would be Queensland. Shu Brisbane Shi ni sundeimas. Okay, so Queensland Brisbane ni sundeimas. Large to small. I hope this helps.